Okay, so we take that uh, sound recorder, you know, we did the basic sound recorder, and when the, then we did the date and time file name generator thing, and when you combine those two, you can have this nice little sub patcher that does automatic sound recorder. So if you have turned on your microphone system, left and right channels are going in here, and then it's just, you hit this toggle on and off, and every time you turn it on, it generates a new file with the date and time as the file name and begins recording. And when you hit the checkbox off, it stops recording and saves the file to the disk. So let's see if it works. Testing one, two, three. And it does have this problem. I gotta, I gotta look this up. Why sometimes yeah. the first one you do, the the it does the hour, month, day right, but it doesn't do the time correctly. I'm well, not turn sure. your toggle off and then do it again. Okay, so now it did record that file, even mm -hmm. though the, it's the zero zone. That's weird. Um, but now when I do it again, it's got the file name AIF, the full time here. And um, hit stop, and uh, it's recorded it. Again, it's got the file name. Ooh, my voice sounds funny. Um, so that works. And so basically, we made an abstraction for SF Record that lets us just plug in a single toggle to record start and stop recording. So how we actually do that is a little more complicated. Um, the two sound channels are coming in here. We have inlets for one and two are coming into SF Record with, uh, with the argument of two for stereo. And then the toggle is doing SEL01, so it's selecting whether it's on or off. If it's on, the one triggers the thing that gives me the date. It, it actually composes the open and AIF message just like we had before. Uh, and it sends that to, to the SF Record to open the file. And then uh, it also triggers, but not uh, it also triggers a one message to start the recording, but it's delayed by a small amount. So I like to put a little bit of delay in there just because give SF Record like 50 milliseconds to open the actual file before right. you start trying to dump data in there. So just give it a give it a second, you know, not even a second. It's like you know, 50, or sorry, um, 50 milliseconds. And that triggers the one message. But you can stop recording immediately. You don't need to put a delay on stopping the file from recording. You can just yeah. send the zero straight in. So, and I have these T0, T1, that's just trigger messages. So I'm triggering a one, triggering a zero. Those could be message boxes or, or whatever. I just like to use trigger sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, Which you can learn more about in a different, we have another tutorial for that if you wanted to. Yeah, so that's the automatic sound recorder. And I, I gotta figure out that that bug with uh, the zeros, but uh, once you, you get it going. The still goes what I was just gonna say did you want to show the guts of that uh, uh, this one right here yeah. it's exactly what we just showed right. in the previous well retail. just to show yeah. that it is exactly the same yep except we put open in there and dot AIF on the end oh and space AIF to tell it to make it an AIF file that's how SF record works um, so all right I think that's it yeah